Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm Jim Heath. Tracy will join us in just a moment. But first, it was quite a week up on Capitol Hill. A vote in the House at the last possible moment averted the nation from being unable to pay all of its bills, and it ended that government shutdown. The previous sequester, however, remains in effect. The president said there were no winners, but clearly the polling shows that a majority of Americans blamed Republicans for the chaos. And the internal debate over tactics employed by the GOP has started. Joining us now, Republican Congressman Pat Tiberi from Ohio's 12th District. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. We should explain, maybe point out your hand right away. Did you hit a wall no. during all no. of this? No. Did you punch a wall? Uh, no, that'd be a better story, but no. Uh, <laughs> little Hartford Fair in Lincoln County in August, I tore ligaments and broke my wrist. Oh, but, but getting fun. better on the Getting better, yes. Well, let's start at the beginning here. I mean, um, how many, as far as the tactics go, how many Republicans were arguing against the tactics of a shutdown in the initial stage before it all started? Well, you know, about half. You know, the leadership currently, they, they uh, you know, to use a football analogy, they, uh, they believe we were Florida A&M going against Ohio State on a football Saturday with this strategy. A strategy that you can't win in the end, and that is the Obamacare. You're not going to defund Obamacare. What would have been a better strategy was to delay it, but a majority of our guys said, hey, we want to we try to go in on a defund strategy and that's where the leadership took us but I will tell you this the, the difficulty and the frustration on my part is there's a, a lot of there's a lot of blame to go around as the president said and I could blame Ted Cruz's strategy as I have because you can't defund Obamacare expectations are out there that you can you can't but the president did not negotiate would not negotiate would not negotiate at all. It's all optics. But is that and that's fair? What because once you attached, oh, it's very fair. Once you attached Obamacare to it, I mean, right. we did have a national referendum on that issue sure. and others last November. He won re-election. And all of a sudden, no when Ted Cruz it. says, look, right. this deal is going to have to include the, the funding of Obamacare, the president's Which wasn't signature happen. legislation, no. then right out of the gate, it's, it's a no deal. But, but there's a negotiation process. My 10-year-old daughter understands that you can't defund Obamacare because you have to have 67 votes to override the veto of a president by the name of Obama. At the same time, my daughter understands we have divided government, and that means you need to negotiate. Harry Reid refused to negotiate. Jim, we passed four bills in July and June to fund parts of the government. The Senate never took it up. Took it up. We passed four more bills, three of which had nothing to do with defunding Obamacare. Funded all of government, included bipartisan things like a 21 Senate. Uh, Democrats who wanted to, to repeal the medical device tax. Other Senate Democrats wanted to, to delay, but they got Harry Reid to, conf to, to not negotiate with us. He just cut their legs out from under them. So That's not the system that we have. So as the dust settles here a few days after this vote, you, look at the, you heard Ted Cruz just a second ago say, look, if we Senate Republicans are stuck with the House, you've got John McCain saying we're now fighting you know, each other. I mean, what, I would what, say what happens Ted, here? Well, Ted Cruz is running for president, so he has a Ted Cruz strategy about running for president and winning a Republican nomination. So did this shutdown benefit him? Oh, I think in a primary it would benefit him, sure, in Iowa and New Hampshire. And I'm not an expert in Iowa and New Hampshire, but you could ask Joe Howell that question. But, but the, the bottom line is, this isn't about just Ted Cruz. The dysfunction in Washington is much broader than Ted Cruz. Remember when, when George Bush was president, you had liberal Democrats not only not acknowledge that he was president, but, but think that he was part of the 9-11 conspiracy. So we have it on both sides of the aisle. And the president has been MIA, missing in action on actually negotiating. Even Leon Panetta. His former defense secretary said that this last week. So uh, now you have Mitch McConnell, uh, the minority leader in the Senate, saying, I won't kick that mule again, his words, to use a Kentucky analogy, that the government shutdown cannot happen again. Is there a similar guarantee that you're he, hearing in the House? He, here's, a, here's the frustration that's been missed in national reporting. It's not about Obamacare. Yeah, so it's, it's about it in, in, in a way, because it is a disaster, and I believe that the administration will ultimately delay it for a year quietly like they did the employer mandate after two weeks of, of saying no, 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 no uh, earlier this year. But here's the issue. We have a fiscal crisis in this country. We are being led down a hole that my kids will not be able to have the same America that you and I have. This president will not negotiate on any grounds and Harry Reid will not negotiate on any grounds. This is bigger. 
And that's the, so that's the fight. In that answer, yeah. then, the Mitch McConnell. So is that is, is that the loophole then that come January we might find ourselves right back? We are in the trying of this? every responsible way to get them to come to the table. The president's been about optics and not a bit, not about reality because he thinks he can take the house back. And this is about the last two years for him being like the first two years. And at some point in time when he decides he can't take the house, then I hope we can get the big deal done. You know, in the middle of, of all of this, uh, the one thing I, I reported on the first day of the exchange when it opened up a couple weeks ago and uh, interviewed a, a woman uh, who was trying to get on, had waited to, to be eligible for insurance for nine years now. She has a small business, very disappointed, very frustrated that she could not get on to the health care exchange. Uh, do you look at the, in reality, had the shutdown not occurred, yeah. that probably would have been the driving, the focus on Obamacare and the reality of that, that web, yes. website that was falling, probably no would have been center stage. Many of us argue that internally. Uh, and so did that fight, I mean, were you having that fight all along, or once you started this, this strategy and the government shut down, did you feel like, uh, as a team player, that was the strategy and well, the, team, the, the, be? the speaker is in the minority, right? He's got to negotiate with two other people. We are not in the minority. We control one house. And so when the play was called because a majority of our, our members wanted to, to, to do this first, then we as a team, unified, are much stronger than we're then we're divided, right? And so at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, you, you saw all this splintering because uh, you know, we had a lot of different ideas on tactics. Is that Tea Party Caucus, are they manageable going forward? They're not monolithic. I mean, they're, they're not monolithic at all. There are members of the Tea Party Caucus, by the way, who said defund was crazy. Defund, the defund strategy was not the right strategy. So what Ted Cruz was able to do is, is Convince a, ma a lot of Americans, a majority of Republicans. How did a freshman that, senator do that? Uh, he did it with the help of some outside groups on, on the right, and they just raised expectations to levels that were just not manageable. And so it's hard to tell people that hey, you can't win this game because you've got people that are like senators and other groups, established groups, that said, yes, you can, if you can hold together. And my question if Senator Cruz was sitting across from me was, if 46 Republicans can, can stand together and win, how does that add up to 67? It doesn't. It doesn't even add up to 50. That's the difficulty. We're out of, Congressman, we're out of time, but let me just ask you, do you see him front and center? Uh, as we get into the new year and we p perhaps face this challenge again. You know, I, 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 I'm hoping that a majority of us now, because I think, I think there is a majority of us in the House now th that, that believe the strategy was wrong. And there wasn't at the beginning, by the way. And I think thinking with that and, and senators, we can convince the American people and Republicans and conservatives and Tea Party folks that defunding isn't going to happen. We need to win elections. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks, always. And get that uh, hand healed. Yes, quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's been a lot of criticism, as we all know, directed.